Hello everyone and welcome back to PhD and Productivity. If you are new here, my name is Kira and I do all things all about doing a PhD and being productive while doing a PhD as well. And I also do some bullet journaling that is specifically related to doing a PhD and trying to keep track of all of that stuff. So this is my A4 research bullet journal and this is what I use to keep track of everything. So at the moment I'm doing one video every day during the social distancing period. This will go on for this week and perhaps longer so if you're interested in seeing more of these videos be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know when new videos are uploaded. So I mentioned in a previous video all about the different transferable skills that every PhD student will learn and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you how I personally track my transferable skills development and how I plan for future developments of my transferable skills. So hopefully this will be useful for some of you guys and if it is be sure to give it a thumbs up because that really helps me out and thank you to everyone who supported me so far. I will have the playlist to the other videos that are from this bullet journal linked down below and I will also have the video in which I mentioned the transferable skills required for PhD students as well. So. If you haven't seen those, be sure to check those out as they will be very useful for you. So this is the two page spread that I'm using to track my transferable skills. So I've titled this spread Level 10 PhD. So you might see online something known as Level 10 Life, which is basically where you rate the 10 aspects of your life on a scale of 1 to 10 and then you decide how to work on each of these. So I've done a similar thing, but for the 10 transferable skills of my PhD, which you can see down here, I've got research skills, personal organization, teamwork and leadership, career management, entrepreneurship and innovation, writing and publishing, public speaking, media and scientific communication. And then these two are specifically for my PhD, which is machine learning methods and programming. And then I've got the current levels of each of those in different colors, just for a bit of color on the page. And that's how I'm tracking how far along I am with each of these skills. You can kind of decide for yourself what counts as leveling up for each of the skills. It is very personal, so it's really what you consider to be a big enough movement towards that next level. Um, so I have over this side all the next steps for the different skills. I don't have all of them filled in because some of them I'm more ahead than others and I basically just filled in some next steps for the ones that I'm less ready for. So for teamwork and leadership I have to do group programming project and a group entrepreneurship project. For career management I have to make a proper LinkedIn profile and make a proper CV and think about different summer internships and things like that. Then for entrepreneurship and innovation, I have to do the Nova Academy Bootcamp, which is a specific thing in my university, which is like an innovation academy um, bootcamp to develop a new product. So I'm applying for that this month. Then for writing and publishing, I have to take charge on the next paper and write my literature review for my thesis. I'm currently taking an academic writing class, so also passing that class will be part of it as well. Then for public speaking, I have to give a presentation in my research group and attend either, you know, in person, probably not, but more likely online, a scientific communication or public speaking conference. And then for media, I have to get to 1000 subscribers on YouTube. So thank you so much to everyone who has contributed to that so far. It's really meant a lot. Part of what I wanted to do with this YouTube channel was you know, get myself out there as someone who is doing a PhD because there isn't a lot of people talking about it, especially not a lot of women who are doing PhDs discussing it. And there's not a lot of resources online for, you know, different methods of productivity and different things. I think it's a lot of overwhelming time for people and not a lot of people know what to do about that. So I'm hoping that my channel is helping people and hopefully I will continue to do that. So. Thanks to everyone who's subscribed so far, and if you haven't done so already, please do because it does mean a ton to me. Then for the rest of it, I have to get to 5,000 Instagram followers and 500 Twitter followers and to create shareable Instagram content that's related to doing a PhD. So I will have my Instagram and Twitter linked down below if you guys would like to follow me on those. But that is pretty much it for this spread. I just have a quote down the bottom, which is 
true nobility is being superior to your former self and that is from Ernest Hemingway so I just thought this was a nice quote to have on like a development page I guess because this spread is all about developing yourself and building on your skills and that is it for this super quick video I just wanted to share this spread with you guys because some people had asked me to share you know how I actually keep track of my transferable skills when I did share the video about the different transferable skills so let me know if you'd like to see anything like this again or if you have any requests as I said I'm trying to put up as much content as possible over the next couple of weeks since there is the whole social distancing and isolation period I know a lot of people will be looking for resources so let me know what you guys would like to see and I will see you guys in the next video